Omniscan flaw analysis and characterization of Toft indications is carried out in full screen mode using the A and B scan layouts. Prior to analysis, the file would have been straightened for the lateral wave and during that we'll make sure that there's no defects in or around the lateral wave prior to straightening it so that they're not masked. The calibration was performed using a wedge delay in PCS. The last calibration option will always be displayed here under a touch and hold or a right click of the mouse. And with that calibration, we can see that the ultrasound axis in microseconds is available and the Toft axis in millimeters for the linearization of the A scan. At any time, the data cursor, reference cursor, or measure cursor can be set using a touch and hold or right click. The data cursor is also available directly from the interactive menu and using the rotary knob on the Omniscan we can replay the inspection one data point at a time. The blue data cursor gives us the indication of the A scan at that position used to make the data point in the B scan. So our first indication is uh, occurring at approximately uh, 110 millimeters. So we'll zoom in on this area using the touch screen. A press and hold, drag your finger, and zoom in on the indication. We will select the data cursor and look at the indication in the A scan. press and hold and set the red reference cursor and the green measure cursor on the display and as you can see we have the uh, parabolic cursor shapes that are par that uh, become visible upon calibration the length sizing will be performed on the scan axis and represents the area inside the two cursors on the scan axis depth and height is performed on the Toft or UT axis here and those readings and statistics are available in the header and they'll be saved in the report. So we'll define the length of the flaw first as I move the cursor and to change the resolution that spins with the rotary knob a touch and hold or a right mouse click and we will bring the cursor to the approximate edge of the flaw and we'll use our parabolic cursors to align it with the edge of the parabolic shape that we see here. We'll do this with the reference cursor as well. Touch on the touch screen to move them up or down. Here we can see the measure cursor aligning with the far edge and select the UT axis cursor to position it at the top of the flaw and the measure cursor on the UT axis at the bottom of the flaw zoom in a little tighter We'll use our data cursor again to watch the A scan as we move in and out in left and right. When the cursors are positioned we can see we have a flaw that starts at uh, 11 millimeters and is 3 millimeters in height. It's uh, directly in the middle of the weld of a double V weld so we know this is an inadequate penetration. The length of the flaw is available here. Uh, once the zoom is appropriate and the cursors have all been placed the indication can be added to the indication table which will appear on the report by a touch and hold in the readings area and select add indication. A screenshot of the data is recorded with the indication table entry and we can zoom out and continue to the next flaw.